truck trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today I get to walk you around a 2022 Renegade Explorer 40 ERB. So brand new model for Renegade in 2022. And this particular coach is sold, but I wanted to showcase it before it leaves tomorrow. So uh, we'll go ahead and start walking around the outside and then we'll head inside. First thing to notice, We've got the Girard integrated awning running down the passenger side of the coach. There is a nice little LED light bar on the bottom side of this. Now this Girard awning is a dual pitch so that it is more flexible on where the sun's angle is, giving you more shade. Something really cool as we start walking around outside here, we do have power baggage door locks. So push the button on the key fob lock all the doors push it again and we've got the unlock so in the very front compartment here nice big storage now these are going to be our slide locks you can put those in when you're traveling down roads just to make sure your slides don't start walking now something kind of new for renegade instead of carpet line bays we've got kind of a nice texture feel it's more like a bed liner from a pickup truck to keep things from sliding around. Now what I think is really cool about that is it makes it a lot easier to clean rather than having to vacuum it out. You can pretty much just stick a hose in there as long as it's not an outlet and just spray it out. Another huge storage compartment right behind that, the first one. Now up in this top left side, we've got two 110 volt outlets. And then a hole right here to run our power cord through maybe an extension cord doing something outside and you need some power you can still shut that door behind that we've got our aqua hot 450d this is going to be our heat as well as hot water so diesel heat this is an all electric coach no propane at all so we're going to use diesel to heat or electricity just depending on what we have available in the sidewall we've got a 43 inch samsung hd tv that is going to be a smart TV, so if you have Wi-Fi available, you can use your streaming services, Netflix, Hulu, Spotify, that kind of stuff. It is hooked up to a Samsung soundbar, so you get a little bit better sound quality. And then it's also on a pivot arm, so you can pull it out, move it around as needed. It is right underneath the awning, so you'll pretty much always have good shade on it, so you're not going to get glares. Come back just a little bit farther. Now this is an option that the customer did ask for on this coach. This is the Truma exterior refrigerator freezer. On a slide tray so you can go ahead and pull it out. Now if we didn't have this option here, this is about a three quarter pass through so it is a little bit deeper storage compartment. So there's some pros and cons to having this refrigerator freezer. Now what I do like about it is it is a dual zone. So we've got two different compartments here. We can set them to different temperatures if needed. You know, if the grandkids are with you, you can have some popsicles. If you're going to the races, take some beer. Or best case scenario, take both. Just a nice little feature to having the dual zone. Gives you great flexibility on that refrigerator freezer. Very back compartment. So this is all the stuff that Renegade throws in. So we've got a couple extra floor tiles. This is just an air hose. I'll show you where to hook that up later. We can use that to fill up our tires if needed. The air checks for trailer brakes. Up here, this coach does have the option for the central vacuum system. And that's what that blue bag is as well. That's gonna be the toolkit for it. So inside there's a central vacuum where we can plug in a hose, vacuum the entire coach without having to have any external vacuum. Coming back to the rear cap, all LED marker, tail lights, backup lights. Up there you can see the vent for the dryer. Something I really like about this on the 2022s is they did a low profile backup camera up there rather than the big, great big one that Renegade usually does. Just looks a lot nicer. Down below, we've got the three inch receiver. That's going to have a 20,000 pound towing capacity. Now this ball that comes with it from Renegade has a two and five sixteenths and a two inch ball, just depending on which side you put in. Now over here, we've got airlines. This is gonna be if you were gonna tow a trailer that had air brakes, this is where you would hook up those airlines. 
Now this one over here, we actually added for the customer who's picking it up tomorrow. That's your Air Force One braking system for a tow vehicle. Uh, at TransWest, we do them quite frequently. So if you need it done, we can absolutely do that. On the other side of the hitch, we've got the connector for our Voyager camera system. So what this allows us to do is if you have a trailer that has a backup camera on it, we can actually plug that trailer in here and be able to see the backup camera for the trailer on the dash. And then to the left of that, we've got a seven pin connector for just your standard trailer brakes and trailer lights if you're using electric brakes. Now there is an integrated brake controller that we'll talk about when we get into the cab of this coach, but it's all set up and ready to go for whatever you need. On the driver's side in the very back, we've got a nice big storage compartment, but more importantly, we've got our power cord reel. So this is a 50 amp power cord. It's 36 feet long, so it gives you pretty good flexibility. Now, it is a manual extend, and then when you're done, push the button, and it just sucks itself back in there. Renegade always throws in a 30 to 50 adapter, just in case the campground you have doesn't have 50 amp available. Now, in front of that, we've got the Onan Quiet Diesel 8,000 watt generator. So, more than enough power to power both your air conditions, all your lights, microwave, all that stuff. We do have a remote switch out here, so if you're working outside and needed some power, you can just turn it on right here. And we also have an hour meter. Next bay is going to be our water bay. So, little hose here that Renegade throws in. Up to the top left, we've got our whole house water, whole house water filter, not heater. Power hose reel down below. Again, manual extend, power retract, just push the button and away she goes. A little bit of hose storage down below. Black tank flush. This is just our tank fill valve. So if we're filling the tank, you turn it to tank fill. If we're at a campground and have water pressure, we can just turn it to city water. That way we're not filling that tank up and then gray and black tank dump valves up there. While we're talking water, this coach comes standard with 150 gallons of fresh water and then 75 gallons of gray and 75 gallons of black water. So nice big tank capacities, especially for your boondockers. Stay off grid a little bit long without having to go refill your tanks. Now this bay is literally just gonna be our gray tank. Or actually, this is our black tank. Now, below that, we've got the actual connection for our gray and black tank dump. There's two different holes in the floor here. So just unscrew these caps. Now I could run a hose down through that hole and still be able to lock this door if you're staying placed somewhere for an extended period of time. Now this Renegade Explorer does come with the option from the factory. This particular one doesn't have it, but Renegade Explorer does have the option to put a macerator pump on it. So you can actually just pump out your gray and black tanks rather than gravity dump them. And here's gonna be the gray water tank. Now we'll see it when we get inside, but it's kind of nice. Renegade does give you the option to heat these water bays. And there's a separate control for it on the inside in the heating and cooling page. Another storage compartment. Now more importantly, up underneath, we've got our Magnum 3000 watt inverter and our Jaboni solar controller. So that inverter is what's going to change your 12 volt power to 110 volt power, make it useful for things like charging your phone, running your microwave, that kind of stuff. Jaboni solar controller, that's just going to make sure that your solar doesn't overcharge your batteries, damage your batteries, that kind of thing. All right, last compartment here. So that air hose that I talked about on the back compartment on the other side, this is where we're going to connect it. Now, this is a big improvement from the Renegade Verona, the Renegade Verona LE, the Newmar Superstar, the Newmar, all of, it, all of them. This is just right out in the open and easy to access. I don't have to reach all the way back in this compartment to be able to get to that airline connection. Um, two Game Changer 3 batteries. Those are going to be 260 amp hour lithium batteries. So you have a total of 520 amp hours in your house batteries. Now, the Renegade Explorer does have have an option to add a couple more batteries if you wanted to and then up top these three batteries are just going to be your standard 12 volt chassis batteries 
just to start up that engine for you. Moving forward behind this little hidden door, we've got our fuel and def tank. So fuel, 120 gallons of diesel, and then big improvement over the smaller Renegades, we've got a 13 gallon DEF tank. It just means less stops for you. So your standard Renegade, Verona and whatnot, comes with 100 gallons of fuel, you get an extra 20 gallons. Their DEF tanks are six gallons, so you get an extra seven gallons of DEF as well. Just less stops while you're traveling. So, now, this is what really is gonna set the Renegade Explorer apart from the Renegade Verona or Verona LE. And that is gonna be, this is built on the Cascadia P4 chassis. Now, if you move from a class six to a class eight truck chassis, which means you get a bigger engine in true American fashion. So this coach is powered by a DD13, which is going to produce 505 horsepower, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque, versus your Verona, your Verona LE, which has a 350 horsepower Cummins, which produces 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. So a lot bigger engine on not much of a bigger coach. So the Verona, Verona LE, a 40-footer, is going to be 40 feet, pretty much on the nose. This is gonna be 40 feet, five inches overall length. So you're not getting that much bigger, but you get a lot more power. And that's really gonna help, you know, especially for us Colorado guys who drive in the mountains frequently, or if you're pulling close to that max capacity, this does just have the 20,000 pound towing capacity, the same as the Renegade Verona and Verona LE. So if you're towing closer to that max capacity, this would definitely make your day a lot better once you start going up steep grades. Another thing I actually like about the P4 chassis is your hood releases are hidden a little bit so you don't see them unless you're looking for them but they're tucked away in there it just gives the whole thing a nice clean sleek look now while we're up here the stock number for this unit is 5N201497 again it is a 2022 Renegade Explorer 40 ERB unfortunately this one is sold and going to Idaho tomorrow but we do have a couple more on order that we can still change colors, options, features uh, to fit your needs. So give me a call if you wanna talk about those. Now, the Renegade Explorer on this Cascadia P4 chassis does come with adaptive cruise control up here. So we can adjust your following distance from 2.4 seconds up to 3.6 seconds, just to keep you moving with the flow of traffic rather than hitting the brakes, hitting the gas, hitting the brakes, hitting the gas. Just let it do it for you. Now, something I found kind of interesting, part of that safety package is going to be the side warning. So it looks like a blind spot monitoring, kind of acts like a blind spot monitoring, but basically, if you're sitting in the driver's seat over there, uh, I'm six feet tall, so you can kind of see how tall this window is, and there's a car right here, odds are you're not gonna be able to see it. So Freightliner gives you this little side spot warning to keep you from running into that car on your side. So, and I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up the exterior part of the walkthrough. We'll head inside now. Another great feature of the Renegade Explorer is we do have keyless entry with the keypad. So you can leave your keys in there. It's just gonna lock the handle lock, not the deadbolt. But walk up, punch your code in, it unlocks and you can walk on in. And we will help you set that prior to you taking delivery of your Explorer. So, as we head in here, hopefully you can see it, but we do have the backlit step that has the Explorer logo. Just kind of a nice, cool, high-end feature. So as we walk in, I do have this coach completely closed up right now. I have all four slide outs in, just so you can get an idea for space while you're in travel mode. So up front, this is our refrigerator, obviously, I'm gonna start as if I was driving. This is our refrigerator, very, very easy to access. Open up both doors, no problem. And freezer as well. All right, pantry, grab a bag of chips or something. Can still pull it out just fine. Microwave, no problem. Two burner, true induction cooktop, easy to access. And then 
if I wanted to sit down on the couch or something, absolutely could. Now this in the middle here is our general coach control. So just now I started the generator, but so we can access that. The half bathroom, plenty of room to get in here, walk around. And then last and probably most important in my opinion, the bedroom. We still have full use of our 72 by 80 king bed or 72 by 74 king bed. So lots of room in this coach. Now we can go ahead and get it open up. So we'll go with the kitchen slide first. So just a couple things to talk about while we have a little bit of downtime here. Um, I just started up that generator, so it is running. I know it's not the best representation because you're listening to me through a microphone, but it's incredibly quiet. And I also have both of our roof air conditionings going. Now, for those of you who have been in coaches without quiet roof air conditionings, you know, or you know that you'd be able to hear them if they weren't quiet. So very, very nice, quiet cab even with the generator and both air conditionings running. Notice the slides are nice and quiet. You don't hear them creaking and rattling. Now when this one gets out, you will hear a banging sound that's just a slipper clutch by design. And then our two bedroom slides. All right, so now we're fully extended. Uh, let's just do kind of a nice pan shot of everything. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the Renegade product, uh, maybe you own a Verona LE or seen one, um, the front of this coach is almost identical to a Renegade Verona LE 40 LRB. So front kitchen, uh, nice big counter space, the dinette in the front and then the rear sofa. So kind of cool, they didn't really have to reinvent the wheel. They took an exi existing floor plan, made a couple modifications to it, and then sent it on its way. So here in the living room, we'll start with storage. Nice deep cabinets all the way across. Now I've said it before and I'll say it again, Renegade, you know, they're not gonna have the most glamorous look to them. You know, they have kind of traditional styling, traditional wood, stuff like that. But if you could feel these cabinets, I mean, their build quality is outstanding. Everything feels solid. You don't have shaking doors and rattles all the time while you're driving down the road. I would say Renegade is probably one of the least rattling coaches that I've ever driven. So down below, we've got the 72 inch sofa. Now there is an option for 72 inch recliners. This coach actually was originally ordered with it and then the customer decided he didn't want it. So we switched it out for a sofa. On each side of the sofa, we do have a little bit of storage. Remotes, extra batteries for remotes. Your Sudoku puzzle. All great things to keep in there. Now the 72 inch sofa does come with the 72 inch sleeper. So let's go ahead and pull your three cushions off. And then mattress unfolds. So 72 inches long, 52 inches wide. So enough room where you could sleep two decent sized humans. humans. Also very important to note, on the back side of this couch, we do have three seat belts in here. So that is a legal place for people to sit while they're traveling. Now, for those of you with grandkids and whatnot, that's a great place for them to sit because right across from that, you've got your 50 inch Samsung HD TV. So you could have them sit there watching a movie while you're driving down the road, keep them occupied, keep your stress levels down.
All right. So next, we've got the booth dinette. Two more seat belts here, just in case you need them. Now this will drop down and make a bed as well. This is the filler cushion to put in when you turn this into a bed. But nice big dinette. I do like that there's cup holders here, so if someone's sitting in that side while you're driving down the road, you don't have to worry about their drinks sliding around. Two 12 volt USBs and two one or two 12 volt USBs and one 110 volt outlet on either side of the table. Now, on this dinette, we got a nice big window as well. So if you're sitting here eating, you can look out. This is on the campground side of your coach, so you can look out, see your campground, see what's going on. We do have day and night shades on all of our windows. Just pull them down and retract them. I know they're not powered, but it's just one less thing to go wrong. And then each window is a dual pane tinted window. It's a storm window as well, so you can actually open these while it's raining or something outside without worrying about water coming in. And then coming over to the other side, We've got the 18 cubic foot Samsung residential refrigerator. So I just set it outside, but there is no propane on this coach at all. So this is gonna run purely off of electricity. Now, uh, the question we most commonly get asked is, does that mean we have to run our generator while we're driving down the road? And the answer is no. We have that Magnum 3000 watt inverter out there. And that's what's gonna convert the power from the 12 volt batteries to the 110 volt that the uh, refrigerator requires. We also have locks on all the doors of the refrigerator so they aren't going to rattle and come open while you're driving down the road. Next to the refrigerator, nice big rollout pantry. This is also locking once I push it in. Notice that everything in here is quiet closing in terms of drawers. The reason they do that is it adds a little extra resistance to things sliding open while you're driving down the road. Down below the countertop here, nice deep cabinet. Now this shelf up top is adjustable up and down as needed. We could also add another one if you wanted to. Three really, be really deep kitchen drawers. Your touch up paint from the factory. Huge cabinet underneath the sink. Now, we've also got the subwoofer down there. That's gonna hook up to the uh, living room Samsung TV and Samsung soundbar, just to give you a little bit better sound quality. And then two more drawers, just for extra storage. Now, we've also got the electric fireplace down below. So, I've got a nice little remote control here to turn that on. Now, there's different settings. We can change colors, we can change the, uh, so there's blue flame, blue and orange, orange. Change colors, change brightness. Now this does act as an additional 5,000 BTU furnace. The only catch to it is you have to have either the generator running or be plugged into shore power in order to use it. To use it. Oh, coming over on the countertop, two bowl undermount sink. Nice solid surface countertop. with covers, window in the kitchen as well. You can open that one, let in a little bit of air while you're cooking. To the right of that, we've got the two burner true induction cooktop. So the only cool thing about induction is you do have to have magnetic pans in order to use them. Very important, we've got two outlets on the backsplash there. Now that it is a tile backsplash, but we've got two outlets right there. So if you need your coffee maker or something, you do have a place to put that, plug it in. Up top, 1.7 cubic foot microwave, nice and big. And then two more cabinets. Now in there right now, we're gonna see all the manuals to this coach. Uh, you get both two sets of manuals, one for the Freightliner chassis, one from Renegade. All that comes with every single new coach that is sold. 50 inch Samsung HD TV. Now this is on a nice pivot arm so we can pull it out and move it around as needed. Something that's kind of cool, back behind this TV, there was some dead space. 
So Renegade put a nice cabinet in there. Keep things like board games, movies, DVDs. You can access it from that side. Or if we just move the TV over, you can access it there as well. Now there is outlets back there. So if you're gonna use the satellite system that is installed on this coach, you are set up to do so. Um, so you turn the, you take, let me just explain that a little bit better. So we've got two empty cords down here, HDMI, as well as cable in. So this coach does have a WineGuard RTT20B, which is just an in-motion satellite. So all we have to do, plug our receiver in here and then use the HDMI cord. And we've got satellite TV in this coach, whether it be direct TV or dish network, whatever you need. I'm standing here and I'm like, why is this getting hot? I forgot to turn turn the fireplace on. That was bad. All right. So moving backwards towards the back of the coach, nice big cabinet. Great place to keep things like flashlights, the stuff that you might need to grab quickly as you're heading out the door. Really cool about this floor plan, you've got a nice coat rack. Again, things that you might need to grab while you're running out the door, dog leashes. And then, completely out of your way, we've got your fuses and circuit breakers. So 110 volt circuit breakers, 12 volt fuses. They are just push to resets rather than blade fuses. We kind of already looked at the mid bath, but this is the half bathroom on this coach. Up above, nice big cabinet for extra toiletries. Part one of your medicine cabinet. And then part two. So a lot of storage, if you had some guests with you, other than the shower, they could keep all of their toiletries and whatnot in here. They would never have to go back into the master bathroom. Down below, big drawer, and then one cabinet underneath the sink. There is two 110 volt outlets in here as well, so people could actually use the space to get ready if needed. Another thing that's kind of nice, they do put max fans in both bathrooms up on the roof. Just exhaust fans, keep air flowing. Which is gonna bring us back to the rear bedroom, the master bedroom. So right here, we've got the pocket door. It does have a locking mechanism on it. Now, once it goes back into the spot, it has a nice heavy magnet on the back side of it to keep it from flying open while we're driving down the road. In the bedroom, 72 by 74 king bed. Storage all the way along the top of it. Now up underneath this cabinet, we do have your general coach controls, do things like turn lights on and off, start and stop the generator, anything you might need to do. Now, very important and one of my favorite things about Renegade is directly underneath that bed, we've got our 150 gallon water tank. So it's split into two, 75 gallons here, 75 gallons here. This is our water pump. Nice and easy to access if you ever needed to change your water pump for some reason. You can do it without having to fight you know, inside a small cabinet like on most motorhomes. But more importantly, that 150 gallons of fresh water is located directly over the axle. So you figure that's 1,200-ish pounds of water. Now putting it directly over the rear axle does give you the best weight distribution. It will keep you from rocking side to side and getting squirrely while you're driving down the road. For storage in the bedroom, two hanging storages here. Now, if you wanted to, you could pull out this bottom if you needed to hang light, longer items and you want them to get wrinkled. 32 inch Samsung HDTV. Another hanging storage. Nice bank of three drawers as extra wardrobe. Another AV compartment, so if you wanted to use that satellite, this is where we put the receiver to play to this back bedroom TV. And then one more nice big drawer. Which is going to bring us into the bedroom. So big advantage of Super C's versus Class A's, you do have a level floor all the way across until you get into the cab. We don't have to step up into the bedroom because we don't have to step up over an engine. So as we come in, I'm gonna hang out in the shower for a second. 
nice big shower. Now this is kind of an improvement for Renegade. Usually we see the 36 inch radius showers. This is a lot bigger, a lot more functional for bigger people. Now the lock for this door is on the interior of the shower, which is I actually really like. So I push it back into place and then the lock is right here against this wall. Keeps it hidden, makes it look a lot more residential, a lot more high end. Big shower though, plenty of room to do what you need to. Another medicine cabinet. I didn't mention it earlier, but these medicine cabinet shelves are adjustable up and down as needed. Two more 110 volt outlets. Big bank of three drawers. Huge cabinet. And then lot, or in the back corner here, we've got the Splendid stacked washer and dryer. So I actually really like this that door technique because I have full access to my washer and dryer not being hindered by the door at all. Now down below, same thing. This one you just have to fold, but it tucks away or it fits just perfectly to where you don't have to worry about it. They are magnetic to keep them from opening while you drive another road. And then your toilet down below another electric flush toilet now we didn't talk about this as we walked in but you've got another huge hanging storage here nice and deep and then more shelving down below great place to keep your extra linens towels things like that awesome little cabinet for it and I think that's gonna wrap up our walkthrough of the interior of this coach I'm gonna close well we're gonna leave it open while we do the cab area. So, okay, so coming forward. Now this is the money maker right here, the Cascadia P4 chassis. Notice both my driver and passenger seat do swivel. So I can move them or turn them around and they become part of our living space. Now, what I like about air ride seats in Freightliner chassis, you see how in this seat, I'm kind of sitting and my knees are kind of up. I'll move over to this one. Boom, it's more of a level seating area. And I can make the other one that way as well. All I have to do is put some air in that seat and lift it up, which let's just see. So up it goes. And now I'm sitting at a more normal height here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these swiveled back around and we'll talk about the cab. Obviously we see that we have air ride seats. Now, with those, we also, these seats are also heated. And then they are still just manual forward and back and tilt. So now that one's locked back into place here. So for those of you, again, who are familiar with Renegade product or maybe just the M2106 chassis, um, or the S2RV chassis for that matter, it's a Renegade Valencia, uh, Renegade Verona um, you're used to kind of just a basic cab you know things are just a flat dash all the way across now they've taken care of that problem with the Cascadia P4 chassis I really like this winged setup here where everything's kind of looking at me I'm not trying to look at it ignition is still down on the bottom left we're just gonna get this thing fired up okay so like I said, manual forward and back on the seat. We do have the air ride, so if I want to move up and down, see if I can feel around for it. So up and down, just using the air. Now, you see how it bounces just a little bit? If you're driving down the road and hitting bumps, that's exactly what it's going to do to give you a little bit smoother, more comfortable ride rather than you absorbing all of it. So here in the middle, we've got the Garmin head unit so this is going to be our navigation it's going to be our radio I just said Garmin so now it's trying to listen to what I have to say if we pull it off back behind it we've got things like power uh, volume skip and uh, skip and fast forward now the reason they give you this is so if the person in the driver's seat or in the passenger seat wants to change the navigation or something they can just pull this off and then pull up their map type in whatever address they need and then once they're done it's a snap back on there magnetically I talked about the trailer brakes in the back. 
So if you're using electronic trailer brakes, we've got the Kurt integrated trailer brake system right there. So turning this up and down, different modes, different gains, depending on what kind of trailer you need. Connection for the radio, we've got a USB port as well as the auxiliary in. The truck or tra trailer camera switch right here. So if I wanted to use my trailer camera on my stacker, push down, boom, I'm looking at those cameras. 12 volt power outlet. Now, really kind of cool setup here. Our air pressure for our uh, trailer brakes right here. Trans temperature, your transmission temperature. HVAC controls. Cigarette lighter doubles as a 12 volt. And then another 12 volt outlet. These two switches. Now this one's gonna be for a rear differential lock. So all it is is an airlock. Push the button. You do want to be stopped when you engage that. Push the button, and now those back two tires will turn the same speed no matter what you do. That's really going to help you if you get into a you know, slippery situation where you're not going to be going that fast. You don't want to use it at high speeds or in situations where you're going to be turning a lot. This one, this we can dump the suspension height. So if I push the button, it'll actually dump the rear airbags and lower me down. Very important for those of you who have height problems at your garage, it gets you grab or gains you just a couple extra inches the other place that'll help is in leveling to be able to make the coach more level right off the bat rather than this rear end sitting just a little bit high moving over just a little bit we've got the engine shutdown override now this is if for some reason the engine overheated or something happened and it shut itself down and you could not get a hold of anyone to help you you can override that shutdown to hope hopefully just limp somewhere where you can get some help now if it's possible and you have your phone you'll want to download the Freightliner 24 7 direct app and get some assistance before you override that um, just in case they really say you shouldn't run it now if you override it and it has a real issue it'll shut itself down again but just as a safety feature they do give you the override so you can limp it to where somewhere you can get help this is going to be for your lane departure warning. Now, the lane departure warning in Freightliner is just a big buzzing sound as you start to cross over the lane. You can shut it off. I always shut it off. It comes back on after 15 minutes. Traction control override. Utility lights. Now, this is labeled up here as docking lights. The Freightliner switch says utility light. This is going to be for backing up into your campground when it's getting dark outside. Turn them on and it's going to be kind of floodlights going backwards. Dome lights. Something really kind of funny, you have a footwell light, so if you ever drop something while you're driving down the road, you can turn on the light and be able to see. Regen switch, and then my favorite thing, the light test switch. So basically, if I hit that button, it's going to run through all of my lights. So my headlights, my brights, my low beams, um, turn signals, brake lights, docking lights. And what that does is it just runs it on a loop so you can just be walking around the coach and it'll turn on all of your lights individually so that you can see them working. So see, it just turned on my hazards. If we watch up here, it'll turn on my blinker here in a second. See, just kind of a cool little feature that Freightliner puts in. Really helps, especially for those of you guys who are gonna be towing like big stackers or Jeeps or whatever. So you don't have to yell at someone, turn on your left blinker, right blinker. Just makes life a little bit, easy, bit easier. All right, so we've got the tilt and telescoping steering wheel. It does lock into place with just a little handle right there. It is a smart wheel as well, so we can control our dash right here. Now, something I want to point out, um, this 2022 Renegade Explorer has driven 1,120 miles at an average of 9.2 miles to the gallon. So that's pretty good, um, especially for a big engine coach. That's actually really good. So on the dash here, we've got our trip mile per gallon as well as just your instantaneous miles per gallon. The trip meter and then the leg meter. So that's pretty much trip A and B, just a different way of saying it. Eco driver feedback, digital speedometer, driving assistance. So this is gonna be our adaptive cruise control. If I go into the settings, I can change the following from 2.4 seconds to 3.6 seconds, just depending on how far you wanna stay behind the car in front of you. In a coach that's this big, 41,000 pound GVWR, I recommend the 3.6 seconds. Better safe than sorry. Give yourself more to, more time to stop. Going back, this is going to be just some digital gauges. So we've got our oil temperature, our turbo PSI, our transmission temperature. Scroll through them. 
auxiliary air tank, diesel particulate filter level, so it just says soot level good, doesn't need to regen. Tire pressure monitoring, so we've got all six tires. Our differential lock, so this is just a visual indication if I put the differential lock on, just a visual indication that it's locked up. And then more settings for cruise control and things like that. Now, this last page is gonna be just our maintenance page. So we've got trans health, filter status, oil life. Right now it's at 100%. Alerts, software programs, mostly stuff for technicians to look at, but it's nice to be able to look and say, oh, I've got 100% oil life left. I don't need an oil change, that kind of thing. And then to get out of here, it's easiest just to push the steering wheel up and out of the way. Now, obviously, Super C's have the benefit of having cab doors to get in and out of. The other thing, we've got power windows on both the driver and passenger side. They are automatic, so all we have to do is push the button all the way down. They'll go the rest of the way. Power adjusting mirrors, driver and passenger side, as well as heated mirrors for those cold and foggy days. Now, the bottom mirror is still going to be a manual adjustment. And then power door locks for the cab as well. So, all right. So there's one thing that I missed while we were walking through the house that I do want to talk about, and that's going to be our Firefly system. So here in the middle of the coach, this is where I put the slides out earlier. We've got this nice little touch screen. Now, in conjunction with this touch screen, we get these little touch pads all around the coach. So they'll look kind of just like this. So we get a couple different ones. Now those are for your more specific things. This one will turn on your exterior lights, extender, retractor, awning, things like that. But for your main hub, we've got the Firefly, Firefly panel in the middle. So right now we're looking at the home screen. So real quick, light master on and off. Our true tank monitoring system. So this is cool because it will give you a water level within 5%. So if it's saying 25%, their true tank guarantees it'll be within seven and a half gallons of that. So water pump on and on, tank heaters for those gray and black tanks. If you're out winter camping, gives you just a little bit better longevity. Uh, front and rear AC. Now, as we move farther into this screen, we can see some different stuff. So this is more of our uh, specific lights. So I can do things like front master on and off, or I can hit each light individually as needed. Same with rears. Power control. So basically this is just a diagram of where our power is coming from and what's going on. So right now I have the generator running so it's saying generator to transfer switch to breaker box to inverter to the house and charger. So, but we can also look at our solar input. So I didn't mention it outside but this coach is equipped with 525 watts of solar. That is an option, one that I would always get if I was going to do the lithium battery upgrade. Automatic gen start, if you're ever away from your coach, you can make your generator turn off and on on a couple different things, whether it be low battery or it's getting too hot in here. We can set that up. Okay, so now we're in our climate control page. Something that is new for the Renegade, or for the Renegade Explorer, uh, big step up over the Renegade Verona LE. We've got heated floors. So you've got three different options here. Well, five different options, I should say. From off, one through five on the heat level. Now, that is going to be electric radiant tile heat, or electric radiant floor heat. So, we'll actually add some heat to the entire motorhome. Over to the left of that, we've got our front controls. That's going to be for our front air conditioning. This coach does have two 15,000 BTU air conditionings with heat strips in them, which means they do act as a heat source as well. But we control that here. Now, if we want to control the bedroom, Go to rear, same thing, rear floor over on the right side, rear AC control here, or aqua hot. And then this is where we're going to get to our bay controls. So remember I said those water bays have some heat down in there. We can set the temperature in there and, and it will just maintain that temperature. Keeps us out camping longer in the winter months. And then vent fans for both the front and rear bathroom. So I, if I wanted to, I can turn on my rear bath vent fan from here, don't have to go all the way to the back. And then our slide out control page. So bed slide, kitchen slide, closet slide, awning, and then living room slide. And last but not least, we've got the auto leveling page. 
So all you have to do when we get to our campground, hit auto level and it'll take care of the rest. When we're ready to leave, I'll retract and we're done for it. So, And I think that's gonna be the end of my walkthrough of this 2022 Renegade Explorer 40 ERB. Um, if you have any questions about this unit, feel free to give me a call. Again, I'm Brian Moritz with Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next week.